And Buck, this is the fourth time you've won this award in four different decades. I mean, this is an incredible, incredible managerial career that you put together. I, I, I know you wanted to get back. You were working here at MLB Network. And, and did you ever think while you were here that you would get a chance and be back on a show like this and be the manager of the year in a league? You know, Greg, I never, never really looked at it that way. Every day you spend in the big leagues is an honor, and I've never forgotten that. And um, I've had a you know, even being able to work there with you guys and understand that uh, we're all just trying to, to make our game a little better and impact some people's lives along the way and make sure they don't make some of the mistakes that we all make. And uh, uh, you learn from them and you try to treat people the way you'd like to be treated and also try to share some things that uh, help them get to where they want to go. But, uh, um, you know, I, I didn't start coaching or managing with the idea I was going to be a major league manager. You just take each job, you work the heck out of it, and see if somebody thinks you could do something else. And uh, every situation is different. And I was very fortunate to, to be asked by some really good people to join them. And, uh, and I'm honored that, uh, that we're here today. Well, Buck, congratulations. Job well done. So, so as Greg said, fourth time manager of the year, four different decades with four different teams, which is really interesting as well. When you think back to where you were as a manager the first time around with the Yankees to where you are right now, it seems like the attention to detail is something that's traveled with you. What's changed along the way for you? Well, you know, the, the, sometimes uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same. You still have to do the same things to be successful in our game. We just got a lot of different ways to verify some of the guts that you have. Uh, you, there's a lot more uh, stuff analytically that you can use to verify what your eyes and your your experience may tell you. There's a lot of different ways to, to, to skin a cat. And, uh, you know, you can either embrace things that might make your team better. I'm not, I told Billy Epper very early that I'm, I'm not going to dare look across the field and think that someone has a piece of information that we may not have or, or say no to anything. But when you bring it, you know, we, everybody should be challenged by, by uh, what they think. And, uh, you know, you want to make everybody feel like they're pulling on the same page. So, uh, you know, the game's has changed, but it stayed the same a lot. You confuse change with a lack of respect for tradition sometimes. And I think, the, you know, you adapt or die, and you understand that, that there's some things you need to embrace if if someone can uh, present them to you properly, and you need to present it properly back and have respect for what everybody brings, and that's what the good organizations do. But congratulations on a job well done. When you look at winning this award for the fourth time, normally when you look at your track record, the success happens in year two. The success happened in year one. I hope so. Yes, the success happened in year one this time, and you had to deal with a lot of different variables to get this team, to get the culture right. Where does this stack up in your managerial, your managerial career? Oh, well, that's, that's a good point, because every situation is a little different. You know, you, you, one of the mistakes you make is when you come into a place, you think everything there needs to be changed. That's not, that's not true. And uh, there were a lot of good things in place, and some people had done some quality things to get us close to where we were. Um, you know, ownership stepped out, and, uh, you know, our ownership has such a pure heart about just wanting to do what's best for the Mets in the game of baseball. It's been so much uh, uh, fun to work with him and for him, and you feel like they're one and the same. Same way with Billy, just a lot of people pulling on the same, same rope, and um, it's fun to see it come together, but you want to be the last team standing. But, uh, you know, this club, it was a different situation in the terms of uh, trying to bring people together very quickly from different organizations, different uh, trades, uh, free agents, uh, people that were already here, and make everybody feel like what they were asked to bring was important. And we just didn't want our wounds to be self-inflicted. You know, there's enough things that inflict you during the course of the season without self-inflicting you. So very proud of our organization for what they accomplished as a group this year.